Jim gets this question a lot, so we're going to do a whole video on it. Hi, I'm Jordan. This is my dad, Jim, the grumpy plumber. And here are seven sources of sewer smells around your house. Seven of them. Let's jump right in. Yeah. Number one, it's people will be out in their yard and they'll sell, smell a sewer gas, okay? Or smells, it stinks. If you have a septic tank, okay, is vented by the plumbing in the house. But what happens when the smell is vented to the atmosphere, the wind can take it and like force it over the house and force it down, back down into like the front of the house or the back of the house, wherever, away from the house. And I'll tell you what, it can be gross. It's an easy fix, but it's not a fun fix, okay? Is what you gotta do is you gotta dig up, not the whole septic tank, there's usually two openings on a septic tank. Dig up the top of the tank that's nearest to the house or nearest to the drain coming from the house. And when you open it up, you're gonna see the drain pipe in there. And what we do used to do is recommend you to put an elbow. It's usually a four inch line. You put a four inch elbow on it, a medium sweep or long sweep, and it will go down and you just want it to break the water level, okay? So about an inch below the water level that stops the sewer gas immediately. So I'm that's the sewer gas smell you see get in your house. But you it's get actually in the house from the through windows, but most of the time yeah. it's you smell it out in the yard. That's a big thing. I mean, we get that question all the time. And he's got a video up here giving a little more detail that with some pictures about yeah. what he's talking about. All right, and number two source of sewer smell. Okay, to look for in the house. A lot of times you have a floor drain in a basement, uh, a laundry room, even that the underneath a wash machine, they'll put a drain in there. And if it has a trap in it, the water can evaporate out of the trap. That's what keeps the sewer gas smell out of the house are traps, P traps. We don't use S traps anymore, but that everything's got a trap. The bathtub's got a trap on it, the shower's got a trap on it, the bathroom sink, the kitchen sink, everything's got a trap, even the washing machine. So if there's a fixture that doesn't get used, like bathroom, a second or third, or I just worked on a house not too long ago, I had 12 bathrooms. Not my so, house. You know, they don't get used. So the cleaning people, I always tell, go in there and always turn the water on for five, 10 seconds, okay? That keeps the trap full of water in it. And usually that's where the smell is coming from. When I get that call, I got a bathroom that stinks, I'll tell them that. Um, so that's that's one thing to look for. It's a fixture that never gets used, like a floor drain, just add some water. And if you never plan on using it, we usually put a non-toxic antifreeze, like RV antifreeze, mm -hmm. we pour it in, because it won't evaporate. So you just pour it in that trap and it's there and you, never, you don't have to worry about it. Number three is a really popular one, is the smell from the base of the toilet. They grab onto the toilet and it's not moving or anything, but I'll tell you what, if the closet flange was below the floor level installed, like you uh, build and remodel the bathroom and the closet flange was on the wood floor and then you put tile in and made it thicker, if you didn't raise the flange up and they kept adding wax rings, on it to make sure that the you get a seal or you don't get a seal. You only you never want to use more than two wax rings and one is perfect. So you want that flange to be fit either level with the finished floor or a quarter inch or uh, sitting on the finished floor. So it's above with the floor flange is about a quarter inch thick. So that makes a good seal. But that wax ring or that thing can excuse me, but the uh, toilet flange is very important. I've walked into bathrooms and there's holes in the walls because they're looking for cracked vent pipes and everything else. And I'd say, it's just that toilet. Fix the toilet and stuff. He has a whole video on this exact problem here or click the description below to find that video. The next one, number four, cracked drain pipe. Yeah, cracked crack drain pipes are, pipes are getting old, like cast iron pipes. You know, they don't, they have a 30 year life to them. They start decaying out. Plastic, much longer, much better way to go, I think. On it, but you'll find just a like a drip, a wet spot, like on the basement floor. You might see something like a, a, a base of a wall on it if it's a crack pipe. But it's not a, like you're going to have water pouring out. But you should fix it, and you can get a smell from that. The uh, smell, like on a wall, can be mostly like a mold smell and stuff. So. It's a good thing to make sure you get that taken care of. You gotta open up a wall to fix that. And downstairs, it's easy, in a basement, I do. Just cut it out, put another one in. All right, next one is a smell coming from your neighbor's house. Yeah, don't always think it's coming from your house. It can come from your neighbor's house too. The, uh, you know, he could be having the problems we're talking about with the septic tank. Mm. Uh, a lot of people don't really notice that septic tanks, if the drain fields go bad, you'll see water around your septic tank. Uh, that's kind of a costly item, but that's, you know, a major problem a lot of times. 
The last one is city sewer, coming from the city sewer. Yeah, usually if, if you, a lot of older homes back, uh, you know, back in the 30s and stuff, when they just started putting plumbing in the houses, they, you know, they only ran one vent. And a lot of times they ran all the plumbing on the outside of the house. And so then when they remodeled, some of those vents are still there. You got to make sure they're capped off properly or not rotting. Because they, they can put off a lot of sewer gas in the backyard, or even in a basement. If you see it, you're not, legally, plumbing code says you can't dead end a pipe. So, you know, sometimes when there been years ago, they dead ended a pipe, like the drain is still going on, even though there's not, it's dry at that end, that, that has, should be removed and capped off. Very nice, so those were seven sources of sewer smells around your house. We hope you can find that sewer smell now with these seven sources of it out there. If you can't find it, hey, if you don't believe me, ask the mailman because he's going to smell it. Here you go. Thanks so much for watching.